Earlier today when I was at the gym getting my pump on, I was listening to George. You know the guy. You're George. I'm George. We're all George. Well, I'm not George. I'm Mike. But I do like his show. Unfortunately, he was really wrong about something today. Somebody in the comments asked him about Dogecoin, and he said that it was basically a dead project. Nat's Day Today channel. What a what a name. Warren George, I heard Doge was going to do well this year. I don't know where you heard that from. Unless Elon officially starts pumping them like crazy, I don't think Doge is going to do well at all. I think Doge will trend up and they could do well in 2025, but there's no catalyst. They don't work on anything. No partnerships, no upgrades, nothing. So I don't see how they're going to differentiate themselves. And it's so big already. It takes so much money to move Doge. That's the problem. All right, so let's break that down. First, he said that Dogecoin's not probably going to move unless Elon Musk starts pumping it like crazy. Well, for one thing, Elon Musk just came out like yesterday and said that he still owns a bunch of Dogecoin. Plus, there's rumors that X is going to unleash the Doge, as this article on NewsBTC says. For a while now, there's been speculation that Dogecoin is going to be added to the X platform, and it's going to be one of the first cryptocurrencies, if not the first cryptocurrencies, that's added to the platform. Recently, Elon Musk has been trying to receive money transmitter licenses on states around the country, and it looks like he just got his one for Utah, which makes the 15th U.S. state to grant approval to the company as they explore offering payment features. X might offer dollars or USDC coin or something like that, but Elon Musk has been nothing but a Dogecoin bull, and he said in the last bull market that Dogecoin could actually become the people's currency and maybe even one day become the world reserve currency. As he said, fate does love irony. George said that there's not any catalyst coming up for Dogecoin, but I would consider this to be a big catalyst, and it would be Elon Musk pumping up the price. But also, and I made a more detailed video about this yesterday, there has been a Doge 1 moon mission that's actually already been launched. Unfortunately, it was failed, though, on the Peregrine 1 mission, as they called it. But that wasn't SpaceX, and I guess SpaceX is the top dog, and these other companies must just still be running through some trial programs or something. But the Dogecoin that was on that moon mission is going to be burning up in the Earth's atmosphere, meaning that it's supposedly going to be burned in actual physical form, which is a new step for cryptocurrencies, I guess. I wouldn't consider it to be a real catalyst, but we do have another one, and that's the SpaceX Doge 1 mission, which is set to launch hopefully next month. According to this article on Spacetv.net, the launch of SpaceX Falcon 9 with Doge 1 and IM-1 Nova C is set to launch on February 3rd of 2024. That's in less than a month, and I think that when that actually does happen, it's going to be another catalyst that could send Dogecoin to the actual moon, and hopefully it's going to send the price there as well. It says a SpaceX Falcon 9 Block 5 rocket will launch the Doge 1 and IM-1 Nova C payloads from Kennedy Space Center, Florida, USA. A suite of robotic NASA payloads will be sent in the, to the lunar surface as part of the commercial lunar payload services delivery in the case by Intuitive Machines of Houston. Landing will take place in the following weeks. The Doge 1 mission to the moon is completely funded by Dogecoin, thus becoming the first space mission funded by cryptocurrency, and Elon Musk confirmed this news via Twitter. Doge 1 will be a minor 40 kilogram rideshare payload on Intuitive Machines' IM-1 mission. It goes on to say down here that this mission is paid for in Doge and it's going to be the first crypto in space and the first meme in space. Well, Doge is already the first meme in space since that Peregrine 1 mission did actually make it to space. Unfortunately, there was also a Bitcoin on there, so it is tied for the first cryptocurrency in space. However, the Peregrine 1 mission was a failure and it didn't make it to the moon, so Dogecoin is still going to be the first actual cryptocurrency to make it to the lunar surface. Finally, George said that Dogecoin doesn't actually have any development going on, and that's just false. Dogecoin has been around since 2013, and it's actually already had most of its development process completed. It's already a really valid cryptocurrency, and it has real use cases, but the development team doesn't want to mess that up by trying to add crazy functionality that it doesn't actually need, like DeFi. There's already all kinds of DeFi projects, 
And Dogecoin doesn't need to change its actual roadmap or anything like that to try to conform to another narrative that doesn't suit it. You may have heard of BRC20s and ordinals on Bitcoin though, and Dogecoin actually got Dogenals on the Dogecoin blockchain as well. As this article on CCN says, what are DRC20s? Dogenals hype may signal Dogecoin revival. Like I said, the developers don't want to rush with a bunch of development and add functionality to Dogecoin that it doesn't actually need, but if the community demands it, then they're going to give the people what they want. The community wanted NFTs and Dogenals on the Dogecoin blockchain, and since Dogecoin is actually based off of Bitcoin, it wasn't that hard to implement this technology, and as BRC20s and Ordinals become more popular on Bitcoin and the gas fees or transaction fees continue to climb, people might start to look for another blockchain to do their Ordinals-like activities, and Dogecoin is the perfect candidate. Here we have the Dogecoin Foundation website and the Dogecoin Manifesto. It says Dogecoin is the accidental crypto movement that makes people smile. We are developing a currency for the people and we strive to do only good every day. That's actually where I got my channel name and I try to do only good every day here as well. And if you can't tell already, I like the coin. It says through this work we have come to value being useful, we value utility over technical brilliance. Right there is something that probably George needs to read. In this same video, and only a couple minutes later and before as well, he was pumping stuff like cock in you, some other shit coins, and also one that was called culo. I don't know if you know what a culo is, but in Spanish, that means a butthole. George really has some nerve trying to bash on Dogecoin for not having re real utility. I mean, what the heck is he talking about? He's a degenerate. I'm not saying that Kakinyu and Kulo and these things can't go up, but it just seems ridiculous to me that he thinks Dogecoin can't actually make any kind of real gains because it doesn't have utility, when it has way more utility than the other coins that he's trying to shill. Here we have the Dogecoin GitHub, and you can see that they do actually have development going on. It might not be as much as some of these other crypto projects that are trying to scramble to keep up with the Joneses, but like I said, this project has been around for a long time and it already has most of its development finished. It's a simple project and simplicity is one of its strengths. The developers have been active as recently as five hours ago. And if you go over to the issues and pull requests, you can see that they have not only been active today, but also over the past few months and throughout the whole bear market. From what I understand, the Dogecoin developers have been focusing pretty heavily on projects like Lib Dogecoin which is supposed to make it more enticing for developers to come in and give them a place where they can actually pull from code that has already been written and add it to whatever they're trying to add onto the blockchain. Also, Radio Doze has been something that the developers have seemed pretty interested in, and Radio Doze is pretty much what it sounds like. You can actually transmit your Dogecoin without the internet. You can use Starlink and radio nodes for remote locations, as it says here. And from what I understand, you can use something like a ham radio and broadcast some kind of code or something that will let you actually transmit your Dogecoin over radio waves. And that could make Dogecoin more usable for people in third world countries where internet is not actually widely available. Dogecoin actually aims to be the people's currency and these kinds of developments are actually going to push it to be the people's currency in my opinion. It's not only people like us in first world countries who have the luxury of always being next to a computer who need to use cryptocurrencies. It's also people who are living in desolate locations under governments who just print money into infinity and make it virtually impossible for people to transact because they actually have no banks. Here in America and in other first world countries, we actually have the luxury of worrying about the functionality and the DeFi and all of these things that can be added into cryptocurrency and smart contract technology. And Bitcoin is supposed to be a digital gold or a store of value, but with it going up in price so much and the inflation rate being so low, it actually disincentivizes people to use it as a real currency. And I think Dogecoin can actually fill that role. Unfortunately, George doesn't know any of this because he doesn't pay attention to Dogecoin, but he did say one thing that was pretty accurate, and that's that Dogecoin already has a significantly high market cap. Dogecoin has an $11 billion market cap, and it is already in the 10th place position, so maybe it can't run as much as some of these other meme coins, but it doesn't have as much of a likelihood as going to zero as all of the other ones do as well. As a matter of fact, since it's been around since 2013, I think there's almost zero chance that it's going to zero. 
and it's actually been staying pretty firmly up here in the top 10, meaning that it is a valid coin in my opinion. But even though it's already at an $11 billion market cap, it still has about an 850% pump to go until it reaches all-time high. That's a 9.5x from here, and I don't think that's anything to scoff at. Not to mention, that's only till the all-time high, and usually that's when things start to go parabolic. Also, George loves Bitcoin, and it's already ran so far. How does he think that people can make life-changing wealth with Bitcoin, but Dogecoin is totally invalid? I really just don't understand his reasoning, and in my opinion, this is a fat L and a real bad take. Like I said, I like George and his show is alright, but I just don't understand how he can be pumping all of these other shit coins and Bitcoin, but he doesn't like Dogecoin because it's a meme coin, and he also doesn't like it because it's too big. It just doesn't fit into the rest of the narrative that he pushes, but in my opinion, I'm going to go ahead and laugh all the way to the bank with this Dogecoin joke, and I guess he can just miss the ride like he did last time. Let me know in the comments, do you guys think that Dogecoin still deserves to be paid attention to, or do you think that this dog has had its day? Either way, thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, but most importantly, don't forget to have a wonderful day, and don't forget to do only good every day as well. I'll see you guys next time, bye.